Hello, and welcome back to the channel. So, as you can tell, it's been over five months, but I've got some explaining to do, and obviously we've had a massive rebranding. So, welcome to the Phasmid Farm. I'm Ben, I'm your host, and this is the Phasmid. And this is PSG23, also known as Eurocancer Calcurata. She's an adult female. I have a male as well, but as anyone that has kept PSG23 will tell you, the males are difficult. And by I mean difficult, I don't mean fragile or anything like that. They're defensive and they've got massive spikes on their legs. But this is my female, and she's a great little stick. When I say little, she's actually pretty decently sized. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at her, shall we? So this is PSG 23, Eurocancer Calcarata, from Papua New Guinea, the Papua New Guinea spiny stick insect. And they are a very decent sized um, phasmid with a lovely sized ovipositor there. And with an ovipositor shape like that, you can tell that this species genuinely will burrow and bury its eggs. Now these guys are a little bit strange because, unlike most phasmids, they don't spend most of their time in trees. They actually like to spend a lot of their time on the ground, which is why it's important if you're keeping this species to give them space on the ground that they can hide in. So you also want to give them bark in their enclosure and of course deep substrate so that they can bury their ova. But alas, this isn't about them. It's about my rebranding. So. The aim of this channel is to educate people on invertebrates. It always has been, but now we're going to focus on Phasmatodia, the order of phasmids. So, we've all heard about phasmids, we all know what they are, stick and leaf insects. Pretty boring, right? Not true. And I'm going to show you some of these animals and show you just how marvellous they are in the upcoming videos. Today is just going to be an introduction to the channel. Um, we're going to be keeping and having a look at a few of the more common species in the hobby and also some more rare, more specialist species that you don't often get to see. Um, of course, today I'm just going to be having the PSG23 out, female out today. Um, but we will get into other species as time goes by. But we'll also be looking at other invertebrates that are often seen as boring and dull, um, such as scorpions, phas uh, other phasmids, um, horsehead grasshoppers, different cockroach species, and anything in between. My goal is to educate the public on how these animals are absolutely amazing and Probably some of the most overlooked species in the hobby. Of course, they are extremely popular actually. They're seen pretty much at every single invertebrate show you go to. But in the hobby itself, people just find them boring, but they're not. Just because they're herbivores does not necessarily mean that they're dull creatures. In fact, I see my phasmids more than I do half of my tarantulas because I, they're always burrowed and to me that's a boring animal. I want to see things that are active, things you can interact with. Phasmids of course are still invertebrates so handling is advised to be kept to a minimum but they don't mind it. If you're changing food plants I'm sure you could grab your phasmid out, well most species, some such as Romulus nematodes are a little bit more fragile so you probably want to keep handling of those to a minimum. But PSG23 here, they don't mind it, or well, the females don't. The males will give you a nasty kick, so you don't want to give those to small children. But yeah, I'm going on a bit of a tangent here. Um, yeah, So we're going to be looking at a bunch of different species um, from PSG84, which is Oreophotes peruana, the Peruvian fern stick insect, which is something you don't really see much of to common things like the PSG-23 and the PSG-9, PSG-9 being Exceptosoma tiaratum, my personal favourite species. 
Uh, we'll also be looking at PFG 18, which is of course Heteropteryx dilatata, the jungle nymph. Although that won't be for a while since I don't have any animal adults that I can show you. Um, we'll also be looking at Diaphrodes gigantea, which I've forgotten the scientific for, but I think it might be t not the scientific, the Phasmid study group number. I think that might be PFG 280, but I'm not sure. Most of the species I keep uh, will be fed on bramble, so they're pretty easy. But, of course, the Oreothotes are a little bit different in the fact that they eat ferns. Um, there will also be other common species shown, like PFG1, which is Carassius morosus, the Indian stick insect, the one we've all heard of. And I'm hoping to get into some other more rare speci species as we go, like some of the more of the Pseudophasma genus. Um, I got some of those from Sam from Bug Realms a while ago, but they were pretty old adults and recently passed on. Uh, I'd also like to have a look at Phasma gigas and um, Cryptophilium westwoodi, which is of course a species of leaf insect. But yeah. So that was just a really quick video, I'm sorry that it's a bit crazy, but it's just been a while since I've uploaded footage, and I think it's time that we move forward with this channel and actually do something productive with it. So thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in a future upload. So for me, from me, it's goodbye, and it's goodbye from PFG23 female who's going for a wonder on my shelf. So yeah, I shall see you in the next upload.